Thank you. What a mighty God we serve. So mighty. It was awesome to them. The hey. You know, the secret is this. If only my people that are called by my name. Yes. You see, if these people can worship God in truth and in spirit, I am telling you, God does wonders. It's not we that are the men of God. or the, We are just tools. Because God is the one that will come down and perform and the miracle. That is just what it is. People that are ready to worship him. Because today's worship was extraordinary. <laughs> to come. Why are you coming this night? Mom, I had a whole lot of things to handle. Like what about Dandy? Yeah, Dandy is fine. He's okay. He's good. Grace. Yes, Mommy. You are lying to me. Oh, no, Mommy, I'm not, not lying. I can't Let's lie go to inside me, first. Mother. Come inside. Okay. Oh, Mom, but you know, I can't What? You... How long am I going?
You really did well. I must say I'm really surprised because I was thinking you were going to tell your parents everything that has been happening in this house. But you really surprised me. You proved me wrong. I was thinking you were going to tell them I thought you did that. But I was surprised. I just got a call from your people that you needed a house help. That you that the work is too much, that you had accident while you were working. That was a good one. Oh, you, you are really a good liar if you want to do work. No worry, we'll get the house up. We'll get the house up. You know, you keep up with this. If you keep up with these beautiful lies, man, I tell you, this house is going to be a better home. You did good, girl. Good girl. <laughs> I'll never get the 
attention I deserve from my husband, like every wife. Okay, today it is prayer and fasting, tomorrow it is dickness, this dickness, that dicking, here dicking, there. Why have you been hiding it from me? I don't know. So Rose, you are pregnant for me. And you did not tell me. I can see you've lost your sense of reasoning. You better shut up before someone hears you mistakenly. Pregnant for you. The next time you utter such in this house, I will ensure you both in jail. Rose. None of your threats will make me abandon you for one of them. So I suggest you wake up from this dream and face the reality. Imagine mad. Do I ask? No, it's obvious you're mad. You're insanely stupid. Oh, you've grown wings. How dare you? Woman, I give you three days, three days to wake up to the reality or else your husband, Pastor Regan, will hear about what you have been doing behind his back. about my past, except Trisha. But she can never blackmail me. Because all of us are together in this mess. Tell me, 
Lord. God, please save me from this mess. Save me, O oh Lord, save my soul. Save me, God, save me. <sighs> I'm great and tired. You can go to church. I really want to rest. Mm. Honey, today is Sunday, and every true believer goes to church at least to start the week in God's presence. What is wrong with you? What is it, Grace? Why do you like ranting? Why? Are you now calling me unbeliever? Because I don't want to go to church today. Huh? Why do you like judging? Why? Go to church, man. If you get to church, pray for us. Once the, the wife is there praying, the husband is there. If you are there, represent me there. Pray. Any prayer you any prayer you pray there, God will, will answer it. You are praying for the family. You are disturbing me. Go to church. About church. You think it's everybody that goes to church that, that go to heaven? Hello, baby. What's up? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, I slept very well. Hope you slept very well. So, what are you doing now? You're lying down. What are you wearing? Is this sexy? How sexy? Anyway, I, 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 I'm at home right now. I'm in the house. Can you come over just for real? Come on now. Forget it. When you come here, I'll cook for you. Just start coming now, eh? And when you get to the gate, just flash me. I'll come and open the gate for you. Alright, I'll be waiting for you. Take care. Bye. And this won't be the toughest in the movie. What is really going on between you and that pastor? Who is, who is pastor's daughter? Oh, Grace. Ha. This girl, so. What is going on between me and Grace? What could be going on between us? You know, two of us were into music. And there is this music concert going on in the church. So we're always together. We're working on it. So that it will be very successful. What is going on between us? And both of you practically live together as man and woman. We live together in this house. Forget. What are you saying, sir? Stop saying that. Also, mean you don't trust me. How can I stay in this house with Chris? Me. If I'm looking for who I'm going to live in this house with, it's you, not Chris. You, you, you know. Grace, she, she comes very early for the music rehearsals and she comes very late. So that's why most of the time you don't see her in this house. What is going on? It's okay. I trust you. I just want to be careful. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So how are you feeling now? I'm getting better. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. After taking this medicine I bought for you, you'll be fine. Okay? Mm. Oh, this boy now, what's him drink the water? Sydney! Yeah. Wait, wait, come. So that you take them back. Why 
and wine. Why did you do that? He gave me dirty water. This water was sealed. You are the one that opened the cell. I saw you open the cell. It's not his fault. It is his fault. It is his fault. You should have seen it before bringing it to me. Silly. I can't take the drug on my behalf. I'm not taking it again. Take it on my behalf. Silly. some departments for him to handle. That's, that, that's thoughtful of you. Good. Good. Oh, uh, Grace? Uh, are you crying? No, that, no, I, I'm fine. I'm good, Dad. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Dad, you guys should take this upstairs. Yeah, take it upstairs. I'm still feeling this present. What's that for? What's the meaning of this? Listen and listen very good. This is the last time you will make me lie, okay? See, Grace. Grace. Remember the book of Ephesians 5 22 says, Woman be submissive to your husband. Now tell me, you snatching, removed, and turning off the music I was enjoying. Is that part of your being submissive to me? Is that part of your submissiveness to your husband? You, you, Bible woman. Huh? Uh, what do you know about what the Bible said? Hmm? Well, I just quoted the Bible accurately right now. Do you even read the Bible? You that reads the Bible, haven't you come across where it was said that wives should be very submissive to the husband? Not even only Ephesians said it. If you go to the book of Romans, there's, there's a chapter there that portrayed that too. Haven't you come across it? By being disrespectful to me, is that your part of being submissive to me? I don't have anything to tell you. But what I'm saying is that I will never lie to anyone again because of you. I'm tired of living in pretense. Then you just give me one reason why you're not being in 
church today. What reason do you have? Nothing. I'm tired. I won't lie to anybody again because of you. from the best cook. <laughs> Honey. And who is this best cook? Your mom, of course. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. Any time with my fellow ministers, mm -hmm. I should tell them that my wife is the best cook in the world. <laughs> you have started again. You are flattering me. But you know I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm listening. I return your memory card. He's outside. Okay. Go straight at the back of an PC. You will see it. You see the episode. Okay. All right now, before another person sees it. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Let me, let me get something for Trisha in the company. I'm coming. Oh. His exact words are that it is it is for yes, it is for the next episode of our documentary. I don't know, I don't understand. What have I put myself into? He has to look into my face and tell me that he's not behind all this nonsense. it wholeheartedly. Then, who is blackmailing me? It is only three of us seated here that knows about my past. I want to swear in the name of the God of your husband, Bishop Solomon Riga, 
that if I have any hand in the blackmailing of Mrs. Rose Reagan, may I not live to see the light of tomorrow. To me, concepts have proven his nonsense. Maybe I can help you track down this blackmailer, kill him, you know, so that he go to the grave with the information he has with you. No. I don't want this to blow out of proportion. This is a very sensitive issue. Because if it leaks out, if it mistakenly leaks to the public, I am finished. The same thing goes with my husband and everything he has worked for over the years. Bruce, let's give him a try. Concept is a professional. And I believe you give it a professional approach. All right, do it. Be very, very careful. It's so, okay then. Um, maybe we'll start from you giving me the number which the black man calls you with. This marriage is the child of your godly brain. You initiated it. I never wanted to marry Grace. You compelled me to marry her. And right now they are complaining. So if you for once think that I'm not living up to expectation, then you should have a rethink. Dandy, any good thinking man that is being presented this great opportunity I gave to you on a platter of gold, will grab and cherish it forever. You said any good man? I'm not any man. I am Dandy. What do you even know about marriage? You're a small girl. What do you know about marriage? Is it because of my only sister? Marriage is all about compatibility. It's all about chemistry. I don't have that chemistry with Grace. I don't even feel anything. This is not what I want. Can't you understand it? Daddy, stop this. You have to go back to your wife. Go on your knees and apologize to her for ever making her cry. Will you shut up there? I don't, don't, whatever you're saying, always remember I'm still your elder brother. Don't talk to me like that. You're talking about marriage. You should be thinking of getting married your own. You're intruding into my own family. What do you know about marriage? Why are people disturbing my life? Go and get married so that you experience the same thing I'm experiencing. What is wrong with you? Leave me, just let me be. Daddy, I've told you, I apologize to that woman. I apologize to her for Christ's sake. She. Grace! Grace, oh. shut up! You don't talk when I'm talking. What's wrong with you now? Why will you always put me aside? Sorry for yourself. You think you're the only person that, 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 that has family problem? This is the last time you will have any issues here and you go out reporting me to people. This is the last time you will do that. So, so will you shut Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Do you want me to kill you? Daddy, you're hurting me! Shut up! And if you dare me in this house again, I'll kill you. I'm not only hurt you, I'll kill you! Don't show me to you! Don't tell me in this house again! Don't you tell me again in this house! Idiot! Respect yourself in this house! Don't tell me in this house again! I will deal with you! I'll kill you and nothing will happen! Don't tell me in this house again! I will deal with you! I will kill you and nothing will happen! God is Lucian outsider. Is this an outsider? <coughs> <coughs> Honey, he, 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 uh, I just finished speaking with uh, the youth president. What did he say? He can't believe this. Wonderful news. He said that the youth contributed 15 million naira for the church new project. Jesus Christ. You don't mean it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there's a way God does things. He would do something from the direction you never expected. Exactly. You understand? Just look at it. Exactly. Never imagine that they, they can do anything like that. <laughs> you know, one thing I know about God is that 
Other normal circles, they will be thinking that the, the money will come from the business class or the church and all that. But you can eat. Sydney, what happened to you? You had an accident? Or you, 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 you fight? I. I. I'm asking what happened to you. Honey, he broke another glass cup. And I did something to him for correction. My God. How can you do a thing like that, Rose? How can you do a thing like that to somebody? Why? And you? What are you still standing there doing? My friend, get lost. I can't see you. God. Do you know? Have you forgotten who you are? Do, do you know you're, you're a pastor? Do you know you're a bishop's wife? Eh? God. This boy is a human being, not an animal. We treat human beings, we don't tame them. They tame animals. How can you do a thing like this? This is evil, this is wickedness. So you don't even care. Roger, you don't care. You're present in television. The looks on your face, the tone in your voice tells me there is something wrong with you, Grace. <laughs> Sister N.K., I believe your instinct is not telling you the truth. Because I am fine. I'm okay. Um, just that. I have a slight headache. When I was praying last night, I saw you in my vision. I saw you in a dry pit shouting for help. But the irony of the whole thing is that each time people come for your rescue, you smile pleasantly as if there is nothing wrong with you. Yes, Sister Inky, nothing is wrong with me. I am fine. The Lord has been faithful to me and my family, so I'm okay. Um, do you know why you noticed I'm not feeling too well? I think I have fever. Yes, I'm feeling feverish. And I'll go and see my doctor and he will see to that. I'm okay. The Lord is... Forgotten. I am going for the church drama show organized by pastors' wives in all the states. That is where we're going to. I can't remember. Crying out loud. Both of us are servants of the Most High God. The Word of God made me to understand, and you know it. He said, Do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. And this year is a typical example of an unbeliever. What are you doing with her? Daddy, I told you we attended drama show in the church yesterday. Stop this! You and I knew that nothing like that happened. There was nothing like that. Okay, now you lie to me because you want to maintain your relationship with Tricia. Tricia, a lady that does not go to church, a lady that is 
that does not say anything about God. Why are you doing this? Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. You're getting it all twisted. Hmm? I have this as a gift. My instinct tells me that both of you, two of you have done something, two of you have done something that is very ungodly. And that is why both of you are inseparable. Jesus Christ, Daddy, you're taking this too far, and it's not good. My opinion is that you stop everything you have with Trisha. Sweetheart, my beloved wife, I know you very well. It, is so, it used to be so easy for you to connect to Almighty God. But now, not just that it's so difficult, you don't even try to. It's the in time saves life. God. Oh. Awesome God. Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, doing all the great and wonderful things. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, all that we think. I love you, Lord. You made me to understand. In Romans 8, 28, he said, All things, all things, not some things, but all things. Working together. Good. Then that love God. I believe this must work for my God. This must work for the God of my family. Are you now the person that will tell me how I'm going to spend money? Please, are you giving me the money or not? How much do you need? Just manage 150,000. Not that it's enough. It's because I've looked at your face. You are just, I don't want to get angry. Just give me 150. Let me manage it. I, I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money. Why are you shouting now? What is 150,000? I don't have that kind of money. Anyway, I, I, I'll give you. 50,000. For what now? Because I came down, I, I didn't, because I did not say you should give me 500,000. I just mentioned 150,000. You are shouting, what is 150,000? Say you want to give me 50,000. Anyway, because I don't want anybody to spoil my mood, just bring the 50,000. Let me just manage it. Let me just use it to put uh, uh, fuel in this, in this car. Give me the 50,000, please. I will give you the 50,000, but not now. You are not even giving me the 50,000. You're not giving me the 50,000 now. I'll give it to you later.
just, just, just see, see what you did to me. Look, look at my sorry. condition I'm right sorry. now. I'm sorry. Okay. If I'm going home now, people will be thinking I fought. And this will keep. Uh, this will remind you not to keep me waiting next time. You are just so crazy. Eh? Must you tear my favorite T-shirt? I'm sorry. Eh? Crazy, crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Since you're driving home, nobody will say it. Come on. What you did to me? What did that do? You don't know what you did. And what happened to Stop you? Stop asking me stupid question. See how you've rendered me useless and worthless. Just because you refused to give me money when I asked you. I just asked you to give me come on 150,000 yesterday. You couldn't give it to me. You agreed to give me 50,000 naira. Up till today, you've not given me the money. And now look at what they did to me. I didn't have that money to pay the people I've been owing. Look at that stupid boy that on a, normal, on a normal day cannot even talk to me. Cannot even say hello to me on the road. Just because I'm only the common money. Look at what he tore my clothes, he disgraced me, he fought me. Just because of you. Just because of you. Come on, 50,000 Naira. Please, I don't, please work, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never knew you were owing any work. I'm sorry, Daddy! Daddy! And now look at what they did to me. I didn't have that money to pay the people I've been owing. Look at that stupid boy that on a normal, on a normal day cannot even talk to me. Cannot even say hello to me on the road. Just because I'm owing the common money. Look at what he tore my clothes, he disgraced me, he fought me. Just because of you. Just because of you. Come on, 50,000 Naira. Please, I don't, please work, I don't need that. I said I'm sorry. I, I never knew you were owing any work. I'm sorry, Daddy! Daddy! This gym feels each time you wash it with standard water. What's wrong with your head? Are you okay? No wonder the color of the car is fading. What is your problem? Huh? Honey, what are you saying? What are you saying? Honey, I have wanted this good for nothing boy to stop washing this car with detergent water. But he wouldn't listen. Can't you see? The color of the car is diminishing. But I instructed him to wash it just for today. Eh? What has come over you, honey? What has come over you? Let's go. Let us go. I will deal with you in this house. I will so deal with you in this house. Idiots. Oh, God. God. Sydney.
Christian life? I mean, being in the Lord. Oh, Daddy, to tell you the truth, it's been very awesome. In most seriousness and sincerity, it's been wonderful. You know, serving the Lord in spirit, body and soul, is the greatest thing that can happen to any man on earth. No wonder uh, David, the psalmist said in chapter 84, 10, that a day in the house of the Lord is like a thousand years in the world. Wonderful. <laughs> so there is no doubt about that. You are now deep in the things of the Lord. Look at the way you're quoting the scripture. Oh, I love this. Thank you very much, Daddy. All thanks to my beautiful wife here. She did everything. She's been so wonderful. She's been taking good care of me. She devoted her time to teach me ways of the Lord. No wonder the greatest psalm is David said in the book of Proverbs 1828. He who find that a wife find that a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. I am so encouraged. <laughs> I love this. This is wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All I need to tell you is this. Make out time to go deeper and deeper in the things of God, in the Word of God and everything. You know, because one mistake I wouldn't like to make is, you know, handing over spiritual things to a, a kid. Okay, I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <coughs> Uh huh. Um, uh, sweetheart. Um, so how much do we have in total now? Um, we have saved up to 4.5 million naira. 4.5? Yes, sir. How come we, we should have up to 5 million naira now? My love, remember you asked me to use um, 500 grand? for my accommodation and for my school fees and to buy some textbooks and also send, send some money to my mom. Uh, okay. Okay, I remember now. I remember. Just that I really need money. I need, need to make that money up to 10 million naira before I hit the studio. You know, like I told you, I want our music shoot to be the best. Mm. To be one in a million. I don't want to shoot it anyhow. And I can't wait for it. So, where is the money now? The money is in my account. Okay, you put it in your account? Yes. That's good. That's thoughtful. Thoughtful of you. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Um, honey. What is it? Um, please, can I make use of your car? <laughs> You're very funny. See how you are saying it as if it's a big deal. If you want to make use of my car, you make use of my car. My car is yours. You don't need any special permission for you to make oh use my, of my thank car. Thank you. This is the reason why I talk about you. Come here. I saw my dream. <laughs> <laughs>
Message is this? What did the message say? Six 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 nine nine nine. Huh? What kind of message is? Did the message come with any number? No. What did the message say? Six 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 nine nine nine. Did did the message come with any number? No. This is strange. Six, 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 nine, nine. Hello? You go badly by asking consent. every part of it all over again but you have failed on your own part by involving third party i know i understand it wasn't intentional i will forgive but you are no longer your husband if you did pass on the paper if you try me again i will tell you to check your phone gallery believe me no, I would not. The choice is yours to make. But you have a little test to go through now. I must tell you, it will be a race against time. There is an envelope at the exit door of the main building. Inside it is a different picture of your nudity. Go there now and pick it up. But if anyone gets there before you, you will have yourself to blame. Okay. Where are you watching? I'm coming, I'm coming. I now confirm that something is wrong. Can I have the room? It's... Nothing is inside. Rose, don't allow me to use force on you. Because if I do, you will not like it. Give me the envelope. It's nothing important. It's... Can I have it? It's not something important. Today's your birthday. The women of Faith International, they, they are wishing you happy birthday. Look at it. It's your moment. Hey! <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm sorry for the way I followed you and all that. I'm sorry. It's just, you know what? Today's your birthday. Yes! And we, <laughs> oh my God! Yes! <laughs> It's been long I celebrated your birthday with you. <sighs> you know what? Make a choice. Just choose anywhere. 
any place of your choice so that we can go and celebrate this your birthday. Thank you. I'll take you there. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my beloved love, my love, son. Thank you. Come, come here. Thank come here. you. Don't just get it. You don't get it at all. You don't get it. This, look, look. This marriage is like a cage to me. It's just like I'm living in bondage. It's restricting me. You, you don't want to take after legends like Bob Marley, Lucky Dubé, all these Rasta legends. But if I continue with this marriage, I'm not going to achieve my set goals. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Candy, can you sit yourself for a second? In case you don't know, Grace is threatening to rip me off all my positions in the church, as well as the financial entitlement that goes with it. And she's going to stop at nothing but to throw you out of this house. And you know what that means? Lucy, I, I see it. So it's all about your positions and financial entitlements in the church. So you are trying to sacrifice my happiness because of position and financial entitlement. You, my only sister. How could you do that? You don't care about my happiness. Dandy. You know, ever since our parents died, I've been the one paying your bills, even when you're my elder brother. I've tried my best to make life comfortable for you. But if you continue like this, I'm going to stop paying your bills. See, Lucy, Lucy, if it's that one, if it's that one, stop paying my bill. What is wrong with you, sir? What is it? Did I ask you to pay my bills? Don't. Let me tell you if you don't know. I've saved enough money to take care of me in case anything goes ugly. Like you've just predicted. You prophesied it. I've saved enough money to take care of you. It is, if I stop taking care of me, don't give me any money again. It is time for me to start taking care of you. Stop, stop, stop disturbing me. Oh. Stop disturbing me. Stop disturbing me. Daddy! 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 many times do I have to tell you not to disclose our family issues to an outsider? How many times do I have to tell you that? Shut up! Leave me alone! I will just break this thing and kill you! What is wrong with you? I am the man here! I have authority and whatever I say stands. I will kill you in this house and nothing will happen! Leave me alone! Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Get out from here, idiot! Get out! Where is this boy? Cindy! I'm going on. My friend, give me the key! And what is keeping you there? Give me the key. Trisha. Listen, let me tell you. Zero your mind from where that boy is. Because whatever you are not saying in your mind about him is not going to work. You hear me? It is not going to work. There is something about this boy that I'm here to lay hold on. There is nothing about him. He's just lost. You are losting after him. Haba! Yes, I agree with you. I'm losting after him. But there is something hazy about this boy that I need to catch up clearly. <laughs> Trisha, there is nothing hazy about him. Just that your loss after him has clouded your sense of reasoning. Trisha? Ha! Huh. Madam, please, can we go now? Madam, let us go. And don't for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Sister NK, you won't understand. You won't understand. How long am I going to continue like this? 
How long am I going to continue living in pain? Sister Ike, I'm suffering. Is God not seeing me? If this is what marriage is all about, I swear there will be no marriage anywhere. Is God not seeing me? What wrong did I do? 